Welcome to the Maternal Cell Contamination Analysis Webinar using Chiron Marker Software. My name is Fu Quinn, and I will be the presenter for this webinar. Chiron Marker Software integrates analysis workflow from raw data analysis to maternal cell contamination quantification and reporting. The software is compatible with all major CE instruments and human identity chemistry for rapid, accurate size and allele calls. It has a user-friendly interface and link navigation that decreases error due to data transfer automates peak identification, and contains an audit trail when user management is activated. The MCC module automatically identifies maternal and fetus sample alleles and completes a mixture quantification according to best practice guidelines. After analysis, the user can generate a full summary report of all loci using two mouse clicks. We will first discuss how to input data into Chiron Marker to complete the initial genotyping analysis. After genotyping, we can access the integrated MCC module from Chiron Marker main analysis window to complete groupings of patient files and set the parameters. Finally, we'll review the MCC quantification and the LEO identification in results window. The report can be either saved or printed directly from this window. We will start the webinar by importing raw FSA files into the software. You can use the file drop down menu to input raw data or open previously saved projects. Select File, Open Data to bring up the Open Data Files dialog box. In the dialog box, select Add and navigate to the data to import it into Chiron Marker. The software is compatible with all file output from all major capillary electrophoresis systems. After importing the data into Chiron Marker, the next step is to set identifiers for the sample. In my example data set, I have three separate patients identified by their patient IDs. The files are separated into maternal and fetus sample with the appropriate identifier in the file name. To set the identifiers, go to View, Preference, Chimerism tab to bring up the dialog box. In the Maternal and Fetus field, input the identifiers that you want to use for identification of the maternal and fetus samples. The identifiers entered here must be present in the sample name. Once the identifier has been set, you can select the Run Wizard icon in the toolbar to begin genotyping. In the first dialog box, you can either choose an existing template for the chemistry you are using, create a new template, or just run the analysis normally by choosing a panel and size standard from the drop-down list. In order to successfully complete the analysis, the panel must be calibrated to your specific instrument. If you have any questions concerning panel calibration, please contact techsupport at softgenetics.com. In the second and third page of the Run Wizard, the default settings selected are optimized for most analysis. For more information on each settings, please refer to the Chiron Marker introductory webinar for clarification. Otherwise, leave the settings at default and continue. Once the analysis is finished, the browser pane will display a list of the sample with color-coded sheets in front of each sample. Green means that size calling was good, yellow indicates a need for review, and red means the sample failed to size call. You can also review the allele call by using the electrophorogram and report table. Use the Help menu located in the top right for editing and navigational tip. To begin maternal cell contamination analysis, first select maternal cell contamination analysis under the Application tab in the main menu toolbar. In the dialog box, first select Grouping. In the file name editor, you can either load a text file or use the group identification field at the bottom to group fetus sample with the appropriate maternal sample. In this example, section 1 is my patient ID which I am using to define the number of groups. Section 2 is my control identifiers, which are the maternal samples. Click Match to group the samples. Each row corresponds to a separate group or patient, and the first column is the control sample and should be the maternal samples. Click OK once you are satisfied with the groups. After selecting the appropriate groups, the MCC Analysis Settings dialog box will display the number of groups or individuals determined through grouping on a browser pane. The browser pane also displays categories such as maternal, fetus, positive control, negative control, and ladder. Positive, negative, and ladder samples are automatically recognized by common marker and placed into the appropriate category. When you select a group, the sample for that particular group are displayed on the right side. Click Auto Identify to automatically place the sample file into the correct category for fetus and maternal sample. In the settings dialog box, you can select to quantify by area and height, specify the sex marker, and choose to ignore any maternal allele detected in the fetus sample if it is in a stutter position. 
The confidence interval chosen in the analysis threshold is used in the calculation of the margin of error for the data set as well as the degree of freedom. The coefficient of variation threshold will flag any sample that is over the set threshold. Once you are finished, click OK to begin MCC analysis. The MCC results window is divided into three separate panes. The left pane is the browser pane and contains a list of all the samples in the project. You can select which sample to view by double clicking on it. The middle pane contains the calculated results for the selected peak and lists the genotypes for both the maternal and fetus sample. The right pane displays the electropharogram of the sample selected. The electropharogram will zoom into the individual marker if it is selected in the middle pane. You can select multiple electropharograms to view at once by using the multiple sample view tool. In the dialog box, select the sample you want to view and click OK to display it. If a third minor allele is detected in the fetus sample and corresponds to a unique maternal allele genotype, the software will consider this maternal cell contamination and calculate the DNA percentage. You can also use the genotype to review the number of genotypes shared between the fetus and maternal sample. The gender allele is reported in the bottom table in addition to some quality statistics and the average MCC from all informative loci. In addition, you can also right-click on the marker and choose to ignore it from the MCC quantification. When you do ignore the marker, the ignore column will change to Yes User and will be printed with the report. The NI stands for non-informative as there is no MCC detected according to the analysis parameter. From the results window, you can save the report by clicking on the save icon in the toolbar. Clicking on the print icon brings up the print settings dialog box. You can choose to print all samples, individual samples, markers, or dyes. If you want to print a specific region, zoom into the region of interest and select Keep Zoom Region in the settings dialog box. Click Preview to see the layout of the report. The first page of the report contains a header which lists all the analysis parameters used for analysis, user management information, and sample information. The electropharograms display the markers and allele calls with appropriate identifiers. The signature sign-off box is on the upper right-hand side. The second page of the report contains the same header information and signature box as previously mentioned. The results table will display all markers unless specific markers are chosen. The MCC summary table shows the same information as the results window. Any markers that are ignored will be indicated in the ignore column as yes and highlighted in yellow. The integrated maternal cell contamination application allows chiral marker to accurately size an allele call, automate the detection and quantification of MCC, and generate reports in a streamlined analysis. The errors from data transfer are eliminated, and all samples, setting, user management, and report are kept in one complete project. Thank you for your interest in Chiral Marker software for automated maternal cell contamination analysis. For more information or to download a free 30-day trial, go to www.softgenetics.com or send us an email at info at softgenetics.com.